This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a toolkit for all YouTubers alike. With advanced metrics and functionality within YouTube itself, including things like bulk syndication and other bulk updating tools, TubeBuddy is the best video manager for you. Want to try it yourself? Click the link down below to get a free trial. Also consider signing up for Talency, with TubeBuddy Pro included. Breaking news! The GPU market is coming back to normal because cryptocurrency is coming down in price! Is what I would have liked to say, but I hate to burst your bubble, this crash in the cryptocurrency market isn't really going to change much of anything at all. Let's just talk about that real quick. Now yes, Bitcoin and a lot of other cryptocurrencies have reached an all-time low within the past couple of months and honestly making a lot of investors and people who mine very, very nervous about their recent investment. But one thing to consider is the fact that this has happened before. The cryptocurrency market crashes and goes up and down all the time. And I know a lot of you are waiting on pins and needles to be able to pick up a shiny new GPU. But honestly, you're going to have to wait some more. Now, yes, you are taking advice from somebody who made a brilliant video talking about GPU prices and how they will get better using proof of stake Ethereum. Not my best take. And even better, I told you all to go buy some cryptocurrency to possibly save money and earn more money to buy those GPUs by causing part of the problem. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I made some mistakes when it came to how I recommended stuff to solve different problems with this GPU market craze. Some of the stuff was just a little bit outlandish and I kind of had my cryptocurrency goggles on when making those statements. So I apologize sincerely for that but if I'm being perfectly honest with you this market isn't as bad as people are making it out to be because used PCs are easy to find and there's actually this resource that I just came across and was told about by my viewers and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it today it's called NZXT build is this the savior for your cryptocurrency GPU shortage craze well let's get into it shall we now this is NZXT Build or BLD. When you are on NZXT's website, they can actually customize a PC based on your gaming needs. Now this in its own is a really cool feature because you can actually get a PC customized to whatever game you want to play. I find this very important for people out there who are just trying to get into PC gaming in the first place because I read my comment section guys about you asking, can it run this game? Can it run that game? Can it run this game? And there are a lot of games that I try to benchmark but can't get to test because, well, there's only so much time in a day for a guy like me with my kind of schedule to benchmark a PC that we put together. So the solution to this is, well, NZXT Build. So as you can see right here, you get a choice between a couple of titles. We got Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Counter-Strike, Diablo, Dota 2, Fallout 4, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 5, and you can see the rest of them right here. So let's hit Fortnite, the most popular game right now, and a game that's honestly absorbing a majority of my life and why I haven't been focusing too much on creating content. Yeah, I apologize. So then after you pick your price, you get three different budgets. You got $1,000, $1,500, and $2,500. Yes, this service is mainly for higher end PCs. It appears that NZXT thinks $1,000 is the bare minimum in this market right now for something like this, because I know 100% that you can build a PC for about $500 that can run Fortnite at 60 FPS easily. So keep that in mind when using this service. But for the sake of this video, let's go with a PC that is about $1,000. I really wish NZXT actually gave some more insight to this because this site seems a lot more oriented to people who are new to PC gaming, and I wish they would give some unbiased remarks into how well maybe an AMD PC would be better for you if you want to live stream Fortnite but Intel might be a better option for you if you want to get the most FPS in Fortnite and stuff like that but for this sake we're going to go AMD because you know my opinion on Ryzen best value for the money out there. So what it put together for me right here was an NZXT S340 with an AMD Ryzen 5 1400 and a GTX 1060 6GB, 6GB with 8 gigabytes of RAM in dual channel at 2666MHz. Really cool that they went with a higher clock speed memory here so they know what Ryzen requires for the best possible FPS. And also a 1TB hard drive. Something about this pricing isn't that good, but we're going to go ahead and customize it a little bit and see what we can go with here. So this PC is VR ready and we can go through here and decide what we want to change so we got the motherboard that we can make more expensive the GPU which we can make more expensive it seems like a 1060 is as cheap as it goes so if you're looking for a higher end build this would probably be the resource for you as I mentioned before but this is definitely true after looking at this extra option list so if you're under CPU it looks like the lows they're going to go is a Ryzen 5 1400 power supplies 
looks like we have Seasonic power supplies right here. That seems to be the main go to. They must have sourced a deal with Seasonic for something like this. If you go to RAM, it looks like you can up the speed a little bit and the amount of RAM all the way up to 32 gigabytes, which holy crap, it looks like they did not compromise for the RAM pricing issue because it looks like for an extra $300, you can get 32 gigabytes of RAM, which sadly everyone's in that situation with. So maybe this will actually help you out with gpus i don't know so with the graphics card it looks like you could pay 180 dollars more for a gtx 1070 which is okay i guess but i wouldn't really recommend doing that now this whole build comes to be a total of 1143 dollars but is that actually a good price so what i'm going to do is go ahead and throw a parts list together showing basically well, all the parts that would require to build something like this on, let's say, Newegg. Let's just use Newegg for an example, and then kind of compare the pricing to see how well it fares. All right, so I slapped together my PC using Newegg, and well, it's actually quite impressive what NZXT is doing over here. So my comparable PC over here with pretty much exactly the same specs, but with one compromise, the RAM is actually slightly faster over here at 2800 megahertz, but it is two four gigabyte sticks for a total of eight gigabytes of RAM. And this whole system over here on Newegg is about $1,015 without taxes and shipping. So with taxes and shipping involved, we're probably looking at a little bit more than that. So it looks like the grand total is about $1,025. And over here on build, we're getting a total of $1,143, which is a difference of, holy crap, quick maths, $118. Now, the real question is, is it worth $118? And that's something you have to ask yourself, because for a new PC builder, maybe having somebody put a PC together for you for $118 is well worth your money. Or if you're somebody who builds their own PCs, you might be like, eh, 118 bucks, I'm actually saving more money even in this GPU mining craze by buying my own stuff and putting it together. So it's something to consider when looking at this site. This is definitely not the resource that I thought it was gonna be because I assume this would actually give you much better price performance compared to building it on your own, but actually it just seems to be taking advantage of the pricing as it is right now in the market and just kind of offering another build service that's a little bit different. So it's kind of disappointing that this isn't as good as people have hyped it up to be or maybe things have changed since the service has released but regardless i would love to know what you think in the comment section down below comment bld in the comment section down below if you made it this far and if you haven't already liked this video if you like this video dislike if you dislike it and subscribe if you're new if you like this style of video let me know in the comment section down below as well be sure to follow us on twitter join our discord community and all that sort of fun stuff and if you want to check out this website or anything like that add under the sun check the description down below Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Peace out.